is monitoring spirits biblical? What does the Bible have to say about monitoring spirit? You bet. To find out what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it, how you're doing it. And that's the only time they reach out to you is to find out what you're doing, what you have been up to, what you will be up to. What welcome or welcome back to your girl's channel if you're new here and you want to access your keys to the kingdom you already know what to do go right ahead hit that subscribe button turn the post notification bell so whenever a powerful video is dropped you are right there to catch it so guys as you can already tell by today's title we will be speaking about monitoring spirits so if you are interested in knowing or finding out what monitoring spirits are how they operate or if they're monitoring your life keep on watching all right so before we get started you already know we do it over here we're going to invite the presence of the lord father we honor you we thank you we glorify you for being god we thank you lord god almighty that you are the omnipotent omnipresent and omniscient god you know all things you see all things and uh, lord god almighty you are in control of all things so i pray even now lord god almighty as i impart this word onto your people i pray lord god almighty that you will speak to me speak for me and speak through me let you be glorified even now so that the father in heaven can be glorified i itself be on the cross one more time so that your name may be exalted through this forum lord god and your people will receive knowledge insight and edification as how they ought to understand these spirits and how to deal with them when they come their way uh take full control of this uh video even now as i look to you by faith and i tell you thanks for that which you're about to do in jesus mighty holy precious name i pray amen and amen now when we talk about monitoring spirits we are literally talking about demonic spirits in the spiritual realm that their sole purpose is to monitor your life to hinder you from fulfilling your divine purpose all right so they monitor the lives of individuals they gather information they take notes of your patterns they take notes of your activities and they report back to the forces of darkness seeking a vulnerability that they can exploit in your life so they seek a place where you are more vulnerable so they seek for vulnerability so that they can exploit that area in your life it's like they're running some kind of spiritual surveillance mission so monitoring spirits are also spirit that surveil there are surveillance spirits that surveil your life and see how best or when they could come on in and cause disruption to your purpose and to your life. All right. Now, you might be wondering, is monitoring spirits biblical? What does the Bible have to say about monitoring spirit? You bet. The Bible sheds light on these uh, malevolent being in various passages and it's especially to understand that oh, the bible does speak about monitoring spirits as surveillance spirits that surveil surveillance spirits that monitor your life monitor your activity see what you're doing um consult in the spirit and we see that perfectly in the book of job chapter 1 verse 7 and we find that scene where uh the sons of god came to present themselves before god and the bible said that the enemy as well presented himself and the lord asked him a question where have you been and he said he has been going to and fro the earth you know he has been going through and fro, fro the earth seeking and observing looking and to see what he could cause disruption to you know so we see very clearly that this implies that the spiritual being constantly observing and reporting back on our lives just like the spiritual surveillance network all right so we see where the demonic spirits they do monitor our lives and they do take notes and patterns and see how best or when it is more 
um when they find a vulnerable space or find a place where someone is most vulnerable where they could enter in and cause disruption in that person's life all right additionally in first peter 5 verse 8 we are warned to be sober and vigilant because our adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour this suggests that there are spiritual forces actively seeking opportunity to arm or end believers life and progress all right so now that we understand these information and know that this thing is uh, literally biblical we ought to be careful of monitoring spirit in the unseen battle of life monitoring spirits may lurk but fear not for believers we are clothed in the armor of god god has given us literally weapons and tools to deal with these spirits when they arise all right all right, so let's just jump into signs you are dealing with a monitoring spirit. Now, you can know that you have a monitoring spirit or a surveillance spirit that is monitoring your activities, monitoring your life by the type of dreams you have. So you constantly dream that you are being watched by eyes. Um, oftentimes it's eyes of animals, especially animal eyes, like bird eyes, whether it's of a goat, a bird, uh, a dove, a howl, whatever the eyes are. And you constantly dream about eyes watching you wherever you go. And uh, you feel some types, some type of dread and fear when you get these dreams and these eyes are watching you and observing you that is a clear sign of monitoring spirit all right now one other sign that you are dealing with a monitoring spirit is you feel a sense of heaviness like heaviness is dreading your atmosphere whenever you are in an atmosphere wherever you are you constantly feel a heaviness in the atmosphere and all the time you uh feel like someone is literally watching you and you're looking around wondering like what is that feeling and why do i feel like someone is watching me yes there is monitoring spirit that might be operating in that atmosphere surveilling your life and waiting for the appointed time or the appropriate time to infiltrate your life so you are indeed dealing with a monitoring spirit but we ought to take keen attention of the word in ephesians 6 verse 12 that it reminds us that our struggle our wrestle is not between flesh and blood but it's against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world in high and low low places spiritual wickedness so we there get a clear idea that there are spirits in the atmosphere unseen that we aren't able to see but we can feel that are in the atmosphere so if your spiritual eyes aren't open to see these beings and to see these activities that occur in the spirit realm if you're not functioning in the seer dimension or you aren't able to see in the spirit you won't be able to see it visually but there will be a sense of heaviness that comes over you that will tell you or indicate to you that something is in the atmosphere watching you and that's something Thing is a demonic surveillance spirit or a monitoring spirit now the third sign is uh, interference you have unex unexplained interference in your spiritual growth everything you do and every time you're about to accelerate in the word or in your prayer life you find that you get distracted you get doubtful things that you once have fervent faith in you are questioning you are you're questioning your belief you're questioning if you are on the right track you are always questioning unexplained interference it interferes with your 
your fasting life, your prayer life, your word life. It interferes with your faith. It interferes with your belief. So unexplained interference, that is also a sign of monitoring spirit because, again, monitoring spirit's ultimate goal is to deter you from your purpose and to get you frustrated with the things of God. Now, we see that John 10, 27 tells us that as believer, we are assured that the sheep as sheep of Christ, we know his voice and we follow him. So when we get to that place where of uncertainty and we are unaware of whether or not the Lord is speaking to us or it's our mind or it's a, a spirit is speaking to us, we find and understand that there's a monitoring spirit that is in operation that is trying to get us off track and to get us confused in our mind. And the Bible says that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. All right. Now, the fourth, the fourth sign is checkups from friends and family only when they want to know what you're doing and what's happening in your life. So you have friends and family members. The only time they check up on you, the only time they reach out to you is to find out what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it. Oh, you're doing it. And that's the only time they reach out to you is to find out what you're doing, what you have been up to, what you will be up to, what are your future plans and stuff like that. That's the only time they try to reach out to you or they communicate with you and they can be operating as a monitoring spirit. So you also have people that naturally will operate as monitoring spirit the enemy will use them to be monitoring your life so that they can get intel and information as to what you're doing and where you are going right and whenever they try to reach out to you and get in your atmosphere it is always coming with some sort of distraction from the thing that you're focused on spiritually so when they come and they ask you questions, it gets you detoured from your spiritual growth and things that you are working on spiritually. So it always throws you off your spiritual growth journey because they always need you to help them do something that is not spiritual. Help them go somewhere that is not spiritual. So it deters you from the growth path that you are on spiritually. All right. Now, the fifth sign is negative patterns negative patterns you always seems to fall into a certain cycle of struggles failures disappointments and mishaps for some strange reason you always seems to find yourself in a cycle of going through these things constantly that is a clear sign of monitoring spirit you keep attracting the same type of friend the same types of uh, romantic relationships you will find that there's a pattern in your finances where you go through a particular financial struggle at a particular time of the year that is also a monitoring spirit uh your uh your job you will be having a certain struggle on every single job that you go into at a particular time say two years in you have that same pattern of every single job you have ever had every single job that you have you have that same pattern that is constantly happening that is a clean clear sign of monitoring spirit and so first peter 5 8 clearly tells us that we have to be sober and vigilant we have to be sober in our mind and vigilant in the spirit to pick up and to understand where something is wrong in the atmosphere and when something is off climatically in the spiritual realm so you have to understand climate you have to understand spiritual atmosphere and you have to understand when to check the temperature when something is wrong so you have to know how to deal in the spirit realm so that you understand when when there is a cycle and when someone is operating from a monetary spirit as well as you have unexplained anxiety presence of unexplained fear and anxious dread every time you are always in a state of panic so you are always in the state of panic you don't know why you feel the way you do you can't do well in exams you can't do well in interviews you are always nervous and anxious you are just in a state of panic 
constantly so you aren't able to follow through um successfully in these types of things that is also a clear sign of monitoring spirits and philippians 4 verse 6 tells us that we should be anxious for nothing but in prayer and supplication to make our requests be made known unto god so anxiety is definitely not of god and it can also be paired and coupled by a monitoring or surveillance spirit. And finally, we have fear. You fear everything. Even your very shadow, you're afraid of your shadow. You constantly feel paranoid, like something is following you. Someone is watching you. Something is about to happen out of the blue. If you turn the light off, there's going to be voices that will come or spirits that will enter your house fear and the bible says in timothy that he has not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind so what monitoring spirit does they come and they they fill you with fear so that they can get your mind in a state of distraught so that they can sweep in with their with their um the delusions and their thoughts that will shift your mind out of a state of focus and uh, reliance on the holy spirit so it brings you into a, a, a sense of skiers scared and panic so you fall back you fall into bad luck all the time you have unfortunate mishaps and you are constantly in a setback type of state nothing you try you try to go forward and you take 10 step back you try to do something to advance yourself and it's like you're going a hundred step backward uh turn to the word of god for comfort and strength that's where it lies as the bible tells us in the book of psalms 56 verses 3 what time i am afraid i will trust in thee in god i will praise his word in god i will praise his words in god i have put my trust i will not fear what flesh can do unto me every day thy rest of word all their thoughts are against me for evil but at what time Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most I. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. So you will find comfort and strength in the Lord Jesus. Whenever you feel afraid, whenever you feel the, the sense of dread and, you know, fear creeping up on you, Turn to the word of God because he has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So whenever you feel these types of presence and you feel this type of way on the inside, you definitely know that there is a spirit monitoring you and you need to get praying. So we're going to uh, pray a prayer against monitoring spirits. As we close out this video, Father, we thank you for your power. We thank you for mighty God, your anointing. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your awesomeness towards us. And Almighty God, as I uh, pray even now, I come against every monitoring spirit uh, that is infiltrating the lives of your people. We speak to every spirit that is surveilling the life of your people, that is causing misfortune, that is causing mishaps, that is causing setbacks, uh, that is causing fear, dread, and anxiety. We come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So we command that every monitoring spirit, monitoring the lives of your people, every single person under the sound of my voice, even now, I come against every spirit monitoring you. We blind, deaf, and dumb every monitoring spirit uh, that is looking in your life, uh, speaking against your life, uh, that is uh, taking intel against your life. We cripple, we cramp, and we paralyze right now by reason of the blood. Uh, we command the blood of the Lord Jesus that speaks uh, justice, uh, that speaks uh, uh, reassurance, that speaks power, that speaks life in to their situation that speaks comfort and strength we speak that blood over you even now i declare the name of jesus 
over you, uh, over every diseases, over every sickness, over every thought. Uh, we bring it under subjection even now. We bring down vain imagination and every I think that exalted itself against the name uh, of Jesus uh, in your life, uh, against your destiny, against your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I command that every monitoring spirit operating in your home, every monitoring spirit operating on your job, uh, every monitoring spirit operating Operating in your family be uprooted right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose them from your grip right now. I lose them from your old right now. I break them free from your devices even now in the name of Jesus. And I command that there be a, a pillow of cloud that will hide them from your uh, works even now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I command that they will become vigilant in the realm of the spirit. Uh, I command that they will be sober right now in the realms of the spirit. Uh, that they will be able to identify every spirit that is anti-God. I pray even now that they will be able to uh, uh, sense anything that is anti-God in their atmosphere and they will be able to take charge and control over those spirits even now in the name of Jesus. Uh, breathe upon your people one more time as I look to you and I tell you thanks for that which you're about to do. Uh, in Jesus mighty all powerful name I pray. Amen and amen. I hope that this video has brought clarity to you and has helped you in some way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.